hey guys welcome to my video today i'm gonna do trends that i hope never come back in fashion we all know that fashion is cyclical it's in a cycle and things come back they come back pretty quick we've just seen the 2000s we, see, we saw the 80s the 80s kind of came back the 90s have always kind of been there and now the 60s are coming back so these are a few trends that i'm hoping never come back and trends that i just think could, should be actually considered a hate crime because they're that atrocious and embarrassing so i hope you enjoyed this video and yeah i do just want to say if you like these trends you do you do you know what i mean i'm not here to judge i think you can probably wear most things if you know what you're doing and if you style them right if you want to wear something you just wear it honey you wear it with confidence and i'm sure you make it work so without further ado let's go on to the trends so i kind of category categorize these into like clothing accessories and shoes so i'm gonna start with clothing i've done like actual trends and then at the end i'm gonna have a little honorable mention section because i think there's loads there's a few that are like not trends they're like one piece of clothing or one piece of something that wasn't a trend it just the fact that it existed is horrifying to me so there's a few of those but um these are the trends first one is capris capris and like um three quarter length trousers anything three quarter length to be fair three quarter length sleeve switch i can't get my words out three quarter length anything Oof. Eesh. the trend capris originated from like the 50s and 60s and kind of came back in the 2000s so obviously we haven't seen a lot of 2000s influence so i'm praying it doesn't come back when i was doing a bit of my research i did see like our capris coming back in 2021 and i was I did feel a little bit nauseous, so I really hope that they don't come back. House of Sunny did a really nice pair recently, and I love the print, like I wanted them so bad, if they weren't capris. Like if they were just trousers, like full length trousers, see you there, but capris are just, it's just like having your calf out, it's just not a moment, I'm not a fan of them. Okay, so now for the next trend, this trend has been huge over the last like year and a half I'd say, but there's a version of it which is just completely unacceptable and that's low rise jeans but to the point where they're like your fanny is out like there's a point i'll put some pictures on the screen of course there's a point where like in the 2000s some people wore them when you're literally like you need a hollywood just to wear those those jeans you know what i mean it's oh and like realistically it's not flattering on people with like supermodel bodies let alone anyone else so it's just it's just a bit rude to be honest um not a fan of that at all i think with low-rise jeans like they will stay in for a bit longer and i think even like low-rise not low-rise but like mid-rise mini skirts are going to come back in but like in the 60s they weren't like high-waisted mini skirts they were just mini skirts i think that with like a longer top that hits at the same point of the low rise or the, the rise basically that will be in trend but what i hope is just never ever in trend like it was in the 2000s is like trousers that are literally hanging on like they're hardly even hanging onto your hips because they're like below that point and then like tiny tiny tops like you just have your whole body and basically your vagina on show not a look absolutely atrocious Ugh. next is an iconic when you think of the 2000s you think of like well actually no not when you think of 2000s when you think think of like terrible fashion you think of this skirts and dresses over jeans so like classic ashley tisdale like kids choice awards um that kind of thing yikes not not cute at all to be fair i don't i can't see this one coming in i don't think anyone's like oh my god i just want to wear like a long skirt over my jeans this trend of like the skirt over jeans was usually worn like you know like in the 2000s but i feel like it stayed around a bit in the 2010s and i feel like mums would wear like a dress like a tunic with leggings or jeans tunics what even are tunics i just think of them i just think yikes i don't even know what, what like actually qualifies as a tunic but the word itself i just find a little bit disturbing so that one i can't see coming back but if your mom's still wearing tunics and leggings please stop her so the next one is like leggings but like 
printed shiny leggings not just like normal printed leggings but they like, have to be like like shiny material like the um galaxy ones like the galaxy shiny material or well, i don't know if anyone remembered but i must have been like 13 or something and i was obsessed with this website called black milk and they sold like leggings of everything you could ever think of i remember they had these leggings which were like the muscles in a leg I don't know how to explain that, but it was atrocious. Like, you know, oh my God, it was horrible. And they had everything you'd ever, they had like baked beans, leggings. Oh, horrible, absolutely atrocious. There's no, no, just absolutely not. And jeggings. Jeggings, the ones that have like the, um, all jeggings to be fair, but especially the ones that have like the zip and like the, the fly and everything like that, like on the leggings. Again, along with that, can we stop the like Facebook trend of spray painting jeans on a girl's body? Fucking weird, isn't it? Another one is peplum tops and like low rise skirts. Low rise? Not right, not low rise. Oh my god, what are they called? High low skirts. And like, but the thing is, high low can be done okay if you do it like geometric, like. I'll put some examples up here but like it can be done kind of okay or cool in like high fashion sense but in the forever 21 new look sense with chiffon absolutely not to be honest anything with chiffon those remember those chiffon tops that everyone wore I mean I must have been in like year seven year eight so that would be what 2012 2013 but people would also wear like chiffon shirts that were like I know that button up sheer shirt is like a trend right now but not like the chiffon ones that were like i just remember this girl i knew had like a salmon chiffon shirt and i just remember being i just i think about that and it makes me feel a little bit unwell also i remember in like year eight year seven year eight i'd wear not i i i'm very proud to say i never bought one but i knew most people who wore those like um peplum skirts it was literally like a mini skater skirt on top of your top weird man also i think i made meant to make people look more curvilicious but like we were all in year seven so i'm not really sure i did that for anyone they just looked a bit weird like you had some weird thing coming out of your body oh, oh. i feel a little bit unwell talking about these things the next one is the quite a recent trend i'd say it was like what 2017 2018 and it was like the clear everything so there were like clear bags, clear shoes, clear boots, and the clear jeans. Topshop bought out these clear jeans in 2017, and they were the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Also, like the clear boots, you would just like, you'd see photos, and they just get like steamy and like fogged up from people's sweaty feet, and it was just, who is like, oh, look at her in those boots, you know what I mean? Like, no. The clear heels, I feel like, stayed around for a bit, and a few people, I feel like, still have clear heels, and they're the most acceptable of the sorts, but I feel like only if they're strappy. If, if you've got, like, your toes squeezed into a clear heel, you will be getting, like, there will be, like, condensation. It's just hideous. The jeans, well, first of all, the bags, people would get the bags, but it was just so stupid, because, like, people would see what's in your bag, because it was, like, clear, so it was completely, like, impractical, and just not really safe. Like, if you're going around with any sort of valuables you're just being like oh hey oh hey like look at all the shit i've got in my bag rob me so that was not a good trend and also it didn't look good either because like realistically who whose bag just has like three things in it do you know what i mean like anyway that was just a big fat no for me but the jeans those jeans were oh, hideous and also so they were like plastic clear jeans you can't even jeans or trousers, but like they would just like get all steamy. And I'm sorry, this might be a bit gross, but tell me that's not just like a recipe for a UTI. I don't make the rules. But um, so top top to the clear jeans, the clear trousers, sorry. And then I feel like some other people did it. I remember seeing ones which were like actual jeans and then have like clear inserts over the knees or something. It was like. Who's like, like, oh, I want to show off my knees. He's like, no, it's just weird. So just the clear trend. Just, just stop. Just stop. Then onto shoes. I don't really do accessories, but whatever. Onto shoes. I have two. The first ones are like ballet flats. These aren't as bad as like vagina showing jeans and like 
lay trousers, but they're just not cute. They're not, they're just not a vibe. They first, they came from like the 1600s and then they came back around the 60s because everyone, because of like the female revolution, the females that like, had their like power again. So they were like, we're not gonna wear like heels. We're gonna wear like comfortable shoes that still be cute. But like, we're in 2021. Do you know what I mean? We wear trainers, we wear all we want. We don't need flats. So I really hope they don't come back around, but the 60s are coming back. So I'm just gonna hope and pray every night that the 60s come back, but we leave the flats behind, the ballet flats. I remember in school, like in probably year seven to year, I don't know, maybe even primary school, everyone wore ballet flats. They were like the cool shoes to wear. And I remember I wore them like once or twice, but like you just get like wet feet. <laughs> You just, realistically, we live in England, do you know what I mean? Like you just get, your feet get like damp. They are they're like hanging on by string because there's so little shoe. It's always made up of like really flimsy fabric. And it's just, they're just shit, but they're just a bit shit. So I really hope they don't come back. But as the 60s are back, we are at high risk of their return. So watch me like make a 60s lookbook with some fucking ballet flats on like next week. Anyway, then onto the potentially most offensive shoe trend was the heeled platform, um, like wedge trainers. They were from they were started by Isabel Isabel Moron in 2012, I believe. And to be fair, Isabel Moron ones like aren't as hideous. They're like not as bad. But then like Converse took them on, and like I think Converse took them on. But do you know what I mean? Like general brands would take on like these. They turn their trainers into heeled wedges and it was just absolutely hideous. I think I had a pair to be fair. Either had a pair or I really wanted a pair. But they were just, what was anyone thinking? What were we thinking? What was wrong with us? That's it for my trends, like actual trends. Now onto my honor honorable mentions. I literally can't say that. Now onto the honorable mentions. Um, these are ones that aren't actual trends, like that lasted long or that like there were different versions of but like more like one brand coming out with one thing and it being extremely offensive and it just should never have happened. So the first one being Croc Flats. <sighs> Croc Flats might be the worst thing to have happened to the fashion industry. <laughs> no, it is kind of slightly stressful because one, Crocs are, Crocs are in, or at least they're coming in. That's really embarrassing. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna buy any because I probably will because they're lit. Am I gonna wear them out? Probably not. But uh, Crocs are kind of coming back in. But Croc flats, I don't care if they're the biggest trend, you will not ever see me in Croc flats. And the same goes for heeled wellies. I know that like Wellington style boots are kind of in right now, or at least they were like 2020 winter and like earlier this winter, but I feel like they're going out. But I wasn't always the biggest fan of them, especially when they looked actually like wellies, but half the time they didn't really look that much like wellies, they just looked like rain boots or like boots that were slightly rainy proof, I don't know. But the actual heeled Wellington boots, the ones that Hunter came out with is what I mean, like actual wellies. Just why? Just why? Why? Just so stupid, so stupid. I don't think anyone bought them. I never saw them like trending, that's why I didn't want to add them as a trend. I just know that they existed and that's offensive as it is. It's already offensive. They don't need to be a trend, that's already too much. It's already gone too far. And this one I thought needed an honourable mention because again, not a trend, no one wore these, or at least I really hope they didn't. But thong jeans, they weren't actually called thong jeans, they were called extreme cutout jeans by the brand. I can't remember what brand did them, but like a brand came out with them. They were like two hundred dollars or something. And they were literally just like strings around your legs or just show your bare legs and then like strings of denim basically just the seams and then like cut everything that wasn't a seam was cut out stop trying it's probably the kind of thing like that brand just did for attention just to get a bit of like people noticing their brand but i don't know who it was so it didn't work that well so that was the end of my video thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed um it was literally just me being judgmental for 15 minutes but whatever comment down below trends that you think were just hideous i really hope i didn't miss any really obvious ones but i think i got the most of them but comment down below any that you think are hideous or even ones that like most people like that you just don't 
anyway thanks for watching enjoy the rest of your day like comment subscribe and i'll see you later